Yeah, toast, 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 toast. Um, to many more seasons. Okay, sis. Stay winning, stay grinning, stay shining. That boom. Cheers. Mm. Ish. Okay, mm. we're we rolling. Yeah, yeah, we're rolling. We're rolling. We're rolling. Good though, we see girl Yezzy is there. It's your girl AY, you're done already. And you are watching Hey Sis. Well, we give our opinions, drop gems. Mm -hmm. If you like it, you take it. If you don't, take a hike. Simple. Okay, so we here for episode four, season one. Yeah, isn't it? we made it. I'm just we gonna say it. we made it because it's, it's not easy being yeah. consistent, and that's what we're doing. This is it. Consistency <laughs> is key. It really is key. We dropping keys today in today's episode. Oy, listen, at this point, I'm expecting everyone to shine because now we're just dropping too much. No, honestly, people should be shining. They should even be blinding us with the shine. Yeah. So this is it. Yeah. So for this episode, we'll be talking about: Is it okay to still stay friends with an ex? Is it okay? It depends. Define friends. Well, you know what? There's levels. In my opinion, there's levels, and everything's <laughs> a case by case basis. Okay. So for me, what's friends? Because friends for me, if it's okay, let's just say I'm let me just put a disclaimer out there. I'm not friends with any exes. But let's just say if we're talking friends, I'm more or less calling it more cordial. Mm. We could follow each other on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And we are, you know, cordially following each other. There's no blocking going on. Okay, cool. If you're saying friends, that means you want to invite me to your wedding. I don't know about all of that. Like, we're not doing that. Friends, if you say friends, I'm your friend. As in, when it's your birthday, you're inviting me. I don't think mm. I want to go to a friend's birthday, uh, an ex's birthday party. I don't think I want to go to your barbecue. I'm not coming to your wedding. But if So it sounded like the endings weren't cool. Define cool. <laughs> As in, I feel like if it's like um almost like a mutual agreement to a certain degree, like obviously it can't be exactly mutual same level 50-50. Yeah. Maybe it's 51-49 agreement that this, this is not math. working. We're not we're not good for each other. Let's go our separate ways. And mm. then in maybe a couple of years' time, you're like, yo, like we're cool. We are cool as people because we were cool. cool before. We're cool. It means I won't trash you when people ask how you, how's my man? I won't say, oh, that dickhead. I won't say that. But what I'm saying is that we're cordial. Like when people say, mm. oh, I've got male friends. So if I'm going to classify you as a male friend, that means when it's your birthday, I'm rolling through. Mm -hmm. Your wedding, I'm there. I'm doing whatever. Mm -hmm. um, even if it's just a get together, group friends, I'm there. Yeah. I might even catch a coffee with you if we're friends like that. Yeah, Pl yeah, platonic yeah. male friends. Of course, of course. But if you are my ex, yeah, the very least, no, the maximum is I'm cordial. Meaning yeah. if I see you on road, you good, you good. How's your mom? She's good. I won't ask you about yours, but we'll keep moving and checking. No. But, <laughs> but, 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 Wait. No, no, no. But, okay. On Instagram, we can follow each other on Instagram. But then, like, I won't ask you about yours. <laughs> I don't care about all that. <laughs> no, no, seriously. No, I'll be cordial. I'll be cordial. But friends is a strong word. Like, we can't mm. just keep throwing out the friend and labeling everyone friend level, you know. To but give friends people status. do, isn't it? Not me. But what if, no, like, no. you were friends before? Like, you were good friends before, and you, know, you decided to go down that path. We wouldn't Did be exes out. if we were good friends. What do you mean? We you wouldn't would... be exes if we were good friends, because some of the greatest relationships are based on friendship. Of course, but not all of them. Because there's a reason. You're not Boy. compatible with everyone. There's a reason why compatibility matters. Because you might not work out. You might think the friendship that you have, you're like, we seem to get each other. And I do find you attractive. You find me attractive. So let's see if this could actually potentially blossom to something much more deeper than just hmm. friendship. Maybe you, you two were there, friends. He was wasn't your friend that's what i'm trying to say he what was, do you mean you could have been friends from the beginning yeah he was never your friend as in like he was aiming like planning for you since day one as in like you're gonna be my girl but, you what, don't if, know it no, yet. but what if he didn't find you attractive though but it's until he got to know you and you know life sometimes it happens mm. you don't know you get to know someone you're thinking oh, i'm with this person still they're always there and it's like maybe you glow up 
You might have been butters back when he met you. For nah, your clapped. You da, blow da, up. Da, da, now, man's thinking, hey! My friends are like, I don't even do want it. that. I don't even want that. If you could not like me for my personality, and let's just say, let's just say you know secondary school, yeah. If you weren't rocking with me in secondary school, yeah, and you know me from secondary school, you want to rock with me now, bye, bye. But if it locked you with your personality, though. Secondary school, you're childish. Exactly. Like, come on, bro. Nah, I don't think. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's best sounds in the background. <laughs> best sounds in the background. Man, dude. Huh? I know, no. I was like, no, uh, but hear me out. Hear me out. Go on, then. Why? Okay, okay. If I'm friends with an ex, if someone say, are you still friends with your ex? I'll say, I'm cordial with an ex. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to call you my friend. I'm yeah. not, okay, okay. I'm not inviting you to my birthday party. Yeah. If, I've got, if I've got a guy, yeah. let, let's just say if I haven't got a guy, I may invite you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If I've not, if I'm single, yeah, yeah I am inviting you. And if, if we're cool like that, mm-hmm. I'm inviting you to the birthday party. Not the barbecue. That's a bit personal. That's yeah, a bit yeah. more... Like family, you're inviting him to birthday party. I'm inviting if if we're cool, because you talking about being cool. If but then friends, not barbecue, not barbecue, because my mom's there and she's thinking, why is this guy here? Mm-hmm. I don't want all the questions of I thought you lot were done because this is what I do. Birthday party, you get an invite. Mm-hmm. Wedding, no. Uh, so get together. It. I object. As, exactly. <laughs> Any calm get togethers. If we were mad cool like that, maybe. Mm. But if I've got a guy. I will see you online. You will see me on Snap. You'll see me on Instagram because I want you to see my glow up. Yeah. But that's about it. No, I hear you. I hear you. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I wouldn't say like, like, I'm not friends mm. with my exes. Like, we can't just go out and hang out and stuff like that. Yeah. Because I feel like um, there will always be a question of, oh, maybe we didn't work out. Not necessarily, I'm not saying necessarily my part, but yeah. I'm just saying there's always that lingering. And it's like, no, we didn't work out. Yeah. Period. But period. I think Yeah, we'll be cool. I don't know about inviting to my birthday thing though. Yeah, but we're not talking about birthday dinner. Like birthday dinners are very intimate, very like close ones. Mm-hmm. Everyone's looking at everyone's bolt. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying house party maybe. I don't know. Boat I don't party. know because imagine how your babes is there. He's thinking, why are your That's what I'm saying. If I was single, you may get yeah, a it's bur- easy you to You may, be... you may get that like, shindig. Or yeah, if yeah. I'm, if it's I'm easier putting... when you're single than when you're in a relationship because it's like, <laughs> unless that person was like your best friend from when you were kids. So obviously you're not going to be like, oh yeah, he just liked me from day yeah. one. Like, when you're kids and then we grow up and then they're like, oh, do you know things blossom and yeah. something happen and then you break off and then it's like, okay, cool, fair enough. There's yeah. like history and you know what, cool and it's different. And that's if you were cool. If you were a prick to me, during a relationship you're dead, like if you're you're dead to me yeah if you're, you're, if you're dead a dickhead to me. then I'm having it still. if you were a dickhead don't look don't greet me don't look at me don't say what's up long time hey I stranger like you don't know man these you didn't even go out with me. No, honestly, you're. Ex- I don't even exist. When you see me on road, I'm air. Just no, no. through me. Swear, and it's not in the bitter thing. No, don't no, hate no. stranger me. Don't say hey trouble. Don't do. Don't embarrass yourself because mm-hmm. I'll embarrass you. Don't mm-hmm. embarrass yourself. If you know you didn't treat me well, it or it ended badly, or things got ugly. You go your way, I go my way. I won't even speak on you. Mm. I ask you don't speak on me and we keep it pushing. It was mm-hmm. a mistake on both our parts. Mm-hmm. Let's just say that. No, facts, facts. But don't come back. No, no, Don't no. think we could be friends. Because if you could treat me that. well... They'll try it, man. They'll try it. They'll always try it, man. But do you think that it's better for you to start a relationship having the friendship first? Or do you think it's better to start a relationship without... Friendship first. Mm-hmm. Friendship first. I'll say opposite because... I feel like I'm the type of person I'm very apprehensive about friendships turning into non-platonic relationships because then I'm, in the back of my mind I'm always like oh my god if we go out on a romantic basis and we don't work out that friendship's warped forever what if we can never be friends again that's just how I think it but what it is for me no, no no literally it's different <laughs> for everybody but for me it's like if we start off with the intentions of you like me I like you and we're literally like dating stage we're getting to know each other mm. i don't mind a long dating stage before oh, okay cool fair enough you know what i mean i don't mind a long mm. getting to know you stage mm. and then we can go into the girlfriend boyfriend title non-exclusive exclusive mm. um on that end because i just get very like i don't know very like i don't know tense when it's like oh my gosh friendship and we take it to another level i don't know what's gonna happen i don't want to lose a friend oh okay That's see it. me i don't mind because like your rule, regardless of anything, I think I've what I've learned is like your rule codes, they're there. 
Mm. So it's like if doesn't if that friendship doesn't last even if after the relationship it was never gonna last anyways. There was everything has its expiration date. Mm. All friendships, all relationships have the expiration date. It just depends. Not everyone's meant to be at every step of the way in your life. Yeah, this chapter so is definitely. I've, I think because of my life experiences, I kind of. And that's how I view things now. So I now I don't necessarily mind if I am friends with you and then we go down that road and it doesn't work out. And it's like, yeah, don't get me wrong. I'll be upset because I'll be like, that's my Cody. Like, that was my G and now I can't be, we can't be friends. Blah, blah, blah. Like right now, you get, especially at that time, you feel like, oh, we can't be friends anymore. Even in the future, like it might still be sticky. But at the end of the day, it is where it is. Like you, if you, if it wasn't for us going down this road, that like, there's something would have made it go expire yeah do you know what i mean something would have made it expire so it's like ah you gave it a trash shot but i think it's because i've also been in situ situations where i've dated people before being friends with them and okay. gotten to learn who they are as we're dating and even being in a relationship and i'm still getting to know you yeah. in a sense and i didn't like that because then it's okay. like i'm like oh if i only just and because a lot of times it's like people will be like oh like very pushy on B, let's get together now. We've been dating for a hot minute now. Mm. Like, let's get together now. And it's like, oh, no, but I don't really know you, though, yet. Like, yeah, for me, because I take time. So it's like, oh, I'd rather, at least if we're friends, so I at least know how you are as a friend's mindset mm. and that. And then I'm probably, then we'll find out as in a relationship type of person how you are. Because how guys are as friends and how they are in relationships, two different things. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of... Male friends who are, I would describe as stand up guys, but mm. to some women they're probably devils. Yes, <laughs> so. because when it comes to relationships now, mm -hmm. it it's a completely different story. When it comes to thinking about somebody spending half of your thought thinking about somebody else, yeah. they can't do that. But when it comes to friendships, because you can divide some time to your friend, but then keep the rest to yourself if you want yeah. to. Do you know what I mean? But in your relationship, you can't do that. You can't be three quarters yourself and one quarter the person. You got to prioritize. You have to prioritize. Whether so, you like it or not. If, if you're invested enough, you have to prioritize. Exactly. So it's a bit like, yeah, I've seen some of the guys that I know and it's like, hey, as a, in a relationship, I would rather cut my legs off than be with you because you are trash. No, no. It's but true, as true, a true. friend, you're a great friend. That's the thing. You're a great you're friend. You're a great friend to me and yeah. then I see how you treat your significant other and I'm like ooh, ooh. I'd never want to date you no mm, damn no, no. you boy oh, no 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 <laughs> you hurt you boy no for real like, like it's mad mommy and dad did a number on you fam no, so, ooh, you, they got you sick up there spinning bro no. they got you spinning but it's so crazy though like you have guy friends yeah they are good guy friends like proper Literally. friends and then you're like and then you think you're so oh he's such a nice guy how's he single and then you look at how he behaves when the girls when women are, are coming around and I think okay he's a dog yeah you're a dog that's yeah. right and then you try to well, give them advice boy. Yeah, yeah baby boy they're, they're doing up um, Tyrese yeah. <laughs> Baby boy, that film yeah. If you Childish. if you feel like child, no. If you feel like you need to mature and if you need to see how you're misbehaving, watch Baby Boy. And That's if you feel like it resonates with you, then you need to fix up. Look in the mirror. No, for real. Your reflection. <laughs> no, no, baby it's boy, for you, real. Yeah, no, it's a good movie though. So. It is. Yeah, no, no. There's some good black movies out there. Charles, Charles, Charles. Brown Sugar. Oh. <laughs> how do you like that film? Away Isn't it sweet how they were just, you know, friends for time? <laughs> and then it just Why is she throwing shade? If I just throw in the bin. What? <laughs> no, I like brown sugar. Brown sugar. Love and basketball. That's a good one, but he was trash though. No, he was he, he was, was a small boy. Like he, he like, was brought he up. Did, yeah, he, he didn't know what he wanted. Him. His daddy wanted too much from him. They just it was a mess. He was a typical... He got away with it in the end, when you think about it. Yeah, he it? really did mm -hmm. get away with, with a lot. Yeah. He got away with a lot. Yeah, he She did. had a bigger... The biggest crush on him, bruv. Yeah, it's just a virginity to him still. I lie. And that's <laughs> sticky, you know? That is sticky. That is sticky. What do you think about now that, you, you know? Got, you know what? When you think of love and basketball, it was actually a violation from beginning to end. <laughs> she got violated, man. She fell for but it. But that was like in Brown Sugar as well, though. Didn't she go to the wedding and everything? They're violations, <laughs> Wait, Ladies, let me think of a happy, let me think of a happy black movie. Just dead with these guys. If they're not levels, dead with these guys. If your ex is trying to chat to you, 
did, did it. it. Okay. Unless he's your bed, he was your friend from before. And even then, keep it cordial, but don't. They because I'm telling you, these guys will try and slide in. Too funny, funny with the you will try. Funny. This give them an instant with take a mile. Nah, honestly, go <laughs> keep it cordial. And when I say cordial. There's a certain level of fraternizing when you want to be cordial yeah, yeah, no, with someone. No, no. First of all, there's a certain time that you do not answer mm-hmm. calls or texts. Mm-hmm. We all know the beauty call hours. We don't mm-hmm. need to put them out there for the mm-hmm. people that don't know. I'm going to say after 10, yeah, after 10 o'clock, do not answer a call or text from your ex. That can wait till and the next day. And is already basically the cap. So yeah. anything that's messaged between that, you might be lucky if you get a, like a response that between window. 9 to 10. Yeah, that, do you know what I mean? That's when you clock out. You know when you clock out? Clock out. You clock out, but you're still in the building. It's in the building, but if anyone asks you something, you're like, I finished work. work. Mm. I finished work. Ask them at the desk. (laughs) I am already at home. No, straight, straight. So you can't be be responding. You've got to get the timings there. Mm -hmm. Also, proximity. Yeah, exactly. We'll keep it no personal spaces. We will not be catching up with you. There's no need for catch up. For no, ca- you see those lethal you words. You can check them on up. Instagram. They, 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 they're they're it's, good. It's been a long time. What are you up to? Check my Insta. You that's know. what I'm up to. Do you know and what if I mean? you don't know anymore, that's all you're privy to. Exactly. My Insta page. Um, also, no DMs, young man. Okay, you keep it to the comments. I don't know what you need to be DMing <laughs> that can't be public. No, no. If no, it can't facts, be public, no, if it can't be public knowledge, why are you DMing me? Yeah. No. If you're brave, say it with chest in the exactly. comments. Exactly. Exactly. It, it just gets like that because what happens is you start answering the late calls and texts. You start going, oh, a little catch-up won't mm-hmm. hurt. Before you know it, he's now tabling the, why didn't we work out to begin with? Wait, do you know what I mean? I, wasn't, I can't even remember. I wasn't mature enough at that time, you know, for you still. Like, mm-hmm. I realised that, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I don't oh. give a damn. I don't give a heck. No, honestly, <laughs> honestly, because... Next thing you know, you start getting yourself into a cycle that you don't need. And, yeah. And sometimes, it, let's not be afraid to move on. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, there's some relationships worth fighting for and all that stuff yeah. and sticking it through. The ones that are worth, worth it. it. Operative word being worth, worth it. it. But those people that you know are just doing playtime, they're bored, they've remembered you, they want to pop up around after mm-hmm. Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. um, after summer, deep in the winter after when it's cold, your birthday. after your birthday, after Valentine's mm-hmm. Day, when winter is coming mm-hmm. and they need something warm to mm-hmm. spoon with, mm-hmm. do not give in. Mm-hmm. And this goes for men and women because guys, we're looking out for you too. Exactly. There's certain girls that will pop up before their birthday, mm-hmm. right before Valentine's mm-hmm. Day, before Christmas mm-hmm. because you, they think that you're a sucker. I mm-hmm. beg nobody's a sucker. I, honestly, rate yourself. Because rate rate yourself. you know what? Is people do this whole. It's better to have the devil you know than the one that you don't. Yeah. No, no. Don't no get to know the one you don't. Because you might not you might think it's the devil, but it's not. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You might not you might think it's the devil, but you find that actually this ice person is actually alright. Might mm. be a little angel coming down you know and Don't be scared. Don't, don't be, be scared, scared man. To don't move be scared to Don't be scared to start again. Don't be scared. And all these people will tell you and, and we got a lot of words circulating, a lot of um a lot of terms circulating online where all the good ones are gone. This is trash. That is trash. Cap. Please, like everybody, just Cap. likes to blow stuff off on the internet because it sounds interesting. Mm-hmm. All these one-liners. Everyone mm-hmm. wants to double click. Please go out for what you want, and mm-hmm. if you like something, don't be afraid to approach it or yep. receive any love you're getting. Yep. Don't let people telling you all oh, this is trash or all the good ones are gone make you lonely and miss out on potential. Yeah, that's it. Keep an open mind. That's it. Done already. So what's the takeaway? Takeaway. You know we gotta give them a takeaway. The final thoughts. And also <laughs> share your thoughts in the comments as well. Do you know what I mean? Do you chat to your ex still? <laughs> I know some of you guys do so keep them on the side when it's winter time, you're lonely. Reserve you know list, yeah. That's that what, that what people are doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, let me look for the roster. Mm, like, I mean, like, well, these guys are dickheads still, so let me maybe message my ex, you know, like, boost up my ego. Nah. <laughs> Takeaway is, like, you can be cordial with your, friend, with your ex, but friendship, I think it's a bit wild. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you have to definitely be in an, an advanced mentality to be able to do that. Yeah, you, you have to be to, very mature, a lot of self-restraint. A lot of people aren't. So let's just be honest with ourselves. Be honest, man. Keep it on a social media thing. Mm-hmm. No DMs. If they DM, air it. Mm-hmm. If it's after a certain time, just air it. Mm-hmm. Don't respond to it. And listen, there's plenty of fish in the sea, Sha. Oh, and they swimming. Mm. <laughs> Bro, trust me. <laughs> trust nah, me. I, I mean, I got to agree. It's final takeaways go. 
We're not harsh. Obviously, judge everything on a case-by-case basis. But if you want to protect your heart, and this is for the ladies as much as it is for uh, the men in both ways, just be careful. Honestly. Read the red flags. Don't deny them. And just keep it pushing. And use condoms. Safe. Keep it safe. STIs are real. They are very real. <laughs> and not all of them are reversible. So let's stop like fooling ourselves. Get checkups. Regularly. Don't just be dicking down every Tom, Dick and Harry, no, not honestly. knowing if she's clean or not. Have have an uh, have standards, man. Do you know what I mean? Rate yourself highly. Keep yourself clean mentally, physically, emotionally, that. and that's on period. That's on period. You heard it here, <laughs> right? Hey, sis, stay tuned. <laughs>